In today's video we're going to be using the refine selection tool. So I'm going to start by going over to the selections persona, clicking on the smart selections brush and then making a selection on the subject. And then to refine the selection, we're just going to use the Refine Selection tool. So I'm just going to zoom into the hair and this is an area that I want to be refined. So I'm going to increase the size of the brush and paint over the ends of the hairs. So if you want to change the preview options, just click on this little arrow to the right and then click it again. And then you've got all the preview options here. So you've got overlay, black matte, white matte, transparent and black and white. And these are just going to help you to see the detail of the selection a lot more. And then you can go back and clear up any mistakes you've made or improve the selection. And then if you click the arrow to the left to go back, there's all these sliders here. So if I bring up the feather slider, that's just going to soften the selection. So the smooth slider will obviously just smooth the edges, but then you lose a lot of detail. And the ramp just controls the offset of the selection. So if I bring it all the way up, You'll see it's just increased the selection. And if I bring it all the way down, it will shrink the selection as well. And the border slider is like the tolerance of the selection. So if I bring it all the way up, You can see a lot of the gaps around her hair have been closed now because the border is a lot bigger, which means there'll be a lot less colour spill. And then once you're happy with your selection, move across again and you can change your output. So if you click on selection, that's just going to take you back to having the, the subject selected. There's mask, new layer and new layer with mask. So I'm just going to click mask and then click the tick. And you'll see it's masked the subject here. 